Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to convert isometric view into orthographic projections. Isometric view means it is a three-dimensional view. We are converting three-dimensional view into two-dimensional diagram. Here two-dimensional diagram means orthographic projection. Okay. So we are converting 3D into 2D. So in 2D we are taking front view of the object, okay, top view of the object and side view of the object. In the shortcut form I am writing like this for front view, top view and side view. Okay, these three are the orthographic projections. These are the two dimensional views. So here we are converting 3D view into 2D views. So let us take the given question. In it, draw front view and top view of an angle plate isometric view. So this is the angle plate isometric view. Okay, this is the angle plate. Asymmetric view means three dimensional view. Okay, for this three dimensional view, we have to do the front view and top view. That is orthographic projections okay here side view has not asked only two views we have to do okay for doing front view and top view we are following the first angle projection here for doing this view we have one more method also third angle projection also okay here in the given question they have not mentioned whether it is first angle projection or third angle projection that's why take the first angle projection method please check the video what is first angle projection and what is third angle projection i will do the link in description box please check it so as I told, we are following the first angle projection. So this is the isometric view of the angle plate. Here I have written all the dimensions. The size of the dimension is very less. So it is it may not be visible in the camera. That's why I have rewritten all the dimensions. Okay, here in all dimensions, units are not given. So if units are not given, take all the units in mm. That is in millimeters. Okay, here 65 mm. 6.5 centimeters like that. Okay, 65 mm. This is 40 mm. This thickness is 15 mm. Here one rectangular hole is here. So that is width is 20 mm. And this height is 30 mm. And this rectangular hole is 10 mm from this corner. And then here this thickness is 15 mm. And this height of the angle plate is 45 mm. So this is a given isometric view. In it we have to do the front view and top view. Okay. Front view means here arrow has given. So in this direction we have to see. So whatever diagram is coming it is a front view. So top view means we have to see from the top of the diagram. Okay. So this is top view in the shortcut form I am writing like this. Here for front view. If so in the question they have not asked a side view. Okay. If side view is also asking. So after this front view whatever view is coming it is a side view. From this direction we have to take SV. Okay. It is not necessary here. Front view and top view we have to do. So we are following the first angle projection. In first angle projection, first we have to do the front view. Okay. And then below this front view, we have to do the top view. So here we have to do the top view. Okay. Here front view diagram is coming. Here top view diagram is coming. Roughly I will do the front view and top view here. After that, by using instruments, we will do the diagram in the sheet. Okay. Take the front view. In this front view, we can see this L shape. Correct. The height of the L shape is 45 mm, that is 4.5 cm and the width is 65 mm. Okay, first do the front view. Here I will do. So L shape is like this. Take this height is 45 and this width is 65. And what is this thickness? Here it has not given. This side it has given. It is 15 mm. So it is also 15 mm because this is a parallel box. Okay, so here we need to take 15 mm and after that what is this thickness here it has given 15 mm again so here 15 mm here do one vertical line here do one horizontal line take intersection point so here I will do one vertical line and here I will do one horizontal line take the intersection point okay we will get this L shape after that here one hole is there rectangular hole Okay, in this direction we can't see this hole because it is inside the angle plate. Okay, but here we have to show inside this one hole is there. For that, for invisible part we have to do with the dotted line. Dotted line means dashed line. Okay, like this. This length of each dash is, length of each line is same with the same length of the gap. Okay, it is called dashed line. We have to show invisible lines with the dashed line. So here according to the dimension. This is 10 mm from this direction. Okay, from this side it is 10 mm gap. So from this side it is 10 mm. And what is this width? 30 mm. Okay, 
after that take 30 mm here so in this gap hole is there so we have to take dashed line so this dashed line will show it has one hole will be there inside this angle plate okay so this is the front view now take the top view as i told front view after front view we have to do one reference line below this top view will come do the reference line of any length okay here do the projectile lines projectile line should be in light color why we are doing the projectile lines means we are doing both front view and top view for the same object okay the position of the object should be same both in the front view and top view okay so this projectile line should be in light color okay compared to this main diagram lines so look at from the top in the top view you can see this entire dimensions okay and how much it is 65 how much this width 40 okay we can see the entire like one box so already 65 we have marked here so within this projector lines do one line of 65 okay 65 line and this width is 40 so mark this 40 here so mark this 40 here make one box okay in the top view we can see this box also okay at one side how much width it is 15 mm already 15 mm wherever the projector line is coming make this should be dark this is this should be in dark color so in the top view after this box okay we can see this rectangular hole also okay what are the dimensions of this hole this is 30 this is 20 okay we can see the hole 30 by 20 in the top view here this distance and this distance has not given in the given diagram okay that's why you take at the middle of this 40 middle of the 40 means you take from 20 mm one middle line just for marking this box in the middle line you mark this box so here as i told it is 20 mm okay so take this side 10 mm this side 10 mm so that total is 10 plus 10 20 mm so we have marked this line on the projector line okay and what is this width 30 mm so already we took projector lines of 30 here so just make one line this side and this side and this side so this is 30 by 20 total so this is a rectangular hole from top we can see this okay so this is a topic so let us do these two views in the sheet using the drawing instruments Actually, we will do the front view take one reference line of any length okay above it we are taking the front view so in the front view first do this l shape 45 mm and 65 mm mark the end points okay after that take this width 65 take this is the reference line here do one line of some length on it mark 65 okay make it dark okay up to here now after that here take 15 mm here also take 15 mm take this is the reference line move the scale here here do one line of some length on it take 1.5 centimeter make it dark and this side also take 15 mm take this line as a reference line take some length on it mark 15 mm so after getting this thickness and this thickness here drop here draw one vertical line here draw horizontal line up to intersection point again take the this is the reference line here do one line this is the reference line from here do the horizontal okay make this should be dark color so after getting the cell shape do this whole dimensions it is 30 from this side it is 10 mm that is 1 centimeter so after 1 centimeter take this is 30 so this is 30 now in this gap this is the whole width okay 
So here do the dashing line. Take okay, this is a reference. At this point, do the dashing line. Okay, this is a front view. After that, do the projector lines from the main lines of the front view. You know, projector line should be in light color. Here we will do the top view. In the top view, take this 65 mm between these projector lines. Okay. So we can take any gap from XY line or reference line. Take this is the reference line. So in between this line makes dark. Okay, that is 65 mm. So I need to take 40 mm on the initial line. Now make this box. This side also take 40 mm. Take this is the reference line. Here do one line. Okay, after doing this box, here take this is the dark line. So on this reference line, make it dark. Now after this box, take the middle line of 40 mm. Okay. So middle of 40 mm is at 20. Okay, just do here one line. Take this as a reference. At this middle point, do the line. Okay, just for marking this hole at the middle of this width. Okay, on it, take this side 10 mm, this side 10 mm. That total 20 mm, 2 cm. Okay. This 10 mm, this side 10 mm, this side 10 mm. Just make it dark. This side also take here 1 cm, here 1 cm. Total 2 cm, 20 mm. Now here join these ends. So this is a rectangular hole in the angle plate. Okay, this is the top view. Here we can take any gap from x y line. After doing the front view and top view, mark the given dimensions. Here mark some dimensions here, the remaining dimensions here. The height is 45. Here this dimensional line is parallel to the main line. Okay, at the middle of the dimensional line mark 45. Here this width is 65. Here the gap is very less. Okay, if gap is more, we can mark the dimension 65 here. Here also we can mark 65. Okay, this total width. And this thickness is 15 mm. Here we can mark 15 mm. Okay, and this thickness is also 15 mm. We can mark either 15 mm here or here. Okay, either one side you can mark. Then whole dimensions are 30 mm. Okay, this 30 here. And then this gap is 10 mm. Here 10 mm. Here, mark this whole thickness 20 mm this side remember all these small dimensions should come in the same line okay and here also these dimensions on the same line and uh, here also this dimensional line should come on the same vertical line okay after that here let us check this is the bigger dimension this bigger dimension should come after marking the smaller dimension okay initially we have to we should not mark the bigger dimension 65 here after that 15 mm 30 mm 10 mm like that initially mark the smaller dimensions after that bigger dimension Okay, this is a process of marking the dimensions and in this way we can do we can convert isometric view into orthographic view that is front view and top view if you like this lecture please press the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching